It's 614 and all new at six now in early September. This North Kingstown woman over here, we all know and love her. She's hoping to make history by swimming to Block Island from Narragansett. No woman has ever done this. And the reason why Elizabeth Beisel is doing this is a very personal one, but she hopes by sharing her story, this swim will help others who are fighting cancer just like her father did. You're going to be the first woman to ever swim to Block Island. Yeah, I haven't done it yet. Hopefully I do. On Thursday, September 9th, North Kingstown native and three-time Olympian Elizabeth Beisel is going to try to do something no woman has ever done before. You know, I take the ferry there and I'm like, oh my gosh, these waters are so rough. Like, imagine swimming this and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to swim there. But it'll be an amazing experience. Beisel isn't making this 12 and a half mile swim because the two-time Olympic medalist needs a new challenge. She's doing it for her father, Ted, who died at the age of 71 on July 1st. My dad was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer in December. We found out on Christmas day. That's where I came up with swimming to Block Island. You know, I have this amazing swimming platform. What is it worth if I'm not using it? All of the money raised by my swim, which is called Block Cancer, will be donated back to Rhode Island hospitals where our loved ones that live here will be treated if they have cancer. And one of the last things he said to me was, we want to reach $100,000. And we're getting closer and closer and I know he's watching and he's going to be so proud and with me every single stroke and hopefully we can get that $100,000 because it's going back to the community and that's really what this is all about. There's a big difference, right, between swimming in a pool in a lane versus being out in uh, Block Island Sound. It's going to challenge me more than anything that I've ever done. You know, I did a swim last night, literally at Narragansett, and there's so many more factors. There's tides, there's current, there's the temperature. You know, I was freezing after like just an hour, and I'm going to be potentially swimming for six to eight hours. You know, in a pool, it's such a controlled environment. I know exactly what to expect. I know exactly how far I'm swimming. There's no current, there's no tides, there's no marine life. Let's talk about the marine life, because we've had some stories recently on the news about sharks being tagged in the waters between Point Judith and Block Island. Marine life is definitely something that is not in the back of my mind, probably the front of my mind. Um, but luckily, I'll be surrounded by so many support boats that if there even were marine life near me, I don't think they'd want anything to do with me, luckily. I will be fine. I say that now. I'm telling myself I will be fine. The plan is for Baisa to leave from Point Judith in the morning on September 9th, and she'll finish the 12 and a half mile swim at the North Lighthouse, which is on the northernmost tip of Block Island. Coming into Block Island is going to be so emotional. You know, the one thing that I will tell myself throughout the entire swim, because inevitably I will want to give up at some point. This is going to be the hardest thing I've ever done. I'm just going to remind myself, this is way easier than fighting cancer. And how, how could I ever feel sorry for myself? And hopefully you'll make it an annual event. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see how this one goes. It would be great to somehow raise funds every year for cancer research. If this swim is too hard, I'll find another way. <laughs> So let's take a live look at the website where you can read more about Elizabeth's swim. Also make a donation. The website really easy to find, www.blockcancer.org. And you can see with about six weeks to go before the swim, more than $78,000 has already been raised. We'll keep you posted on Beisel's training leading up to September 9th. We also have a link to her site on our website, wpri.com.